I can walk so much better on these paving slabs because I can judge my stride. If every floor was made like this, I'd be delighted. I really would. Because I even have to use my stick. Now we've got a problem because we've got no no things and I slow down when I'm like this. Because there's, there's no visual clue. Regarding a walking stick, it's very important to get the right height of walking stick. I've had a lot of problems in the past because I've been using a stick that's really far too tall for me. The best way of measuring what height a stick should be is to let your arms dangle freely. And just where your wrist is here, that should be the height of your stick. Previously, I'd taken the height of my hip, which is about five inches too high, and it caused my shoulder to go like that, pretty much, and it, which affected my shoulder and my neck quite badly. I'm still adjusting to it all, but certainly if you get the height of your stick properly with your physiotherapist, then you're halfway there to being able to walk with a stick. It's important to control your breathing when you're walking as well. If you get too excited or too upset about your dyskinesias, that makes your dyskinesias worse. Because the dyskinesias are like a naughty little imp. They will make you do things you don't particularly want to do. So they'll make you try and walk quicker than you want to, so try and relax. Try and slow your breathing down so you're walking calmly and steadily. And if you need to stop, stop. Have a rest until it calms and then you can set off again. Quite often you get mistaken for being drunk, having Parkinson. I wear this t-shirt, not all the time, but sometimes when I'm out in public, simply because it tells people I'm not drunk and I have got Parkinson's. It's an icebreaker and it puts people at ease. If you're nervous about people's reaction, don't be frightened to tell people. There's nothing wrong with having Parkinson's. You haven't chosen to, to get it. So if you make people aware, it makes them feel more at ease and it also makes you feel more at ease. People do stare at different things. We all do it. So let's, get, let's educate people, let's engage the public. People will understand and they'll accommodate you accordingly. And quite often you become really good friends with the person that's asked as well. Thank you.